Hello everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer here and today is Sunday the 2nd of October 2022 so you know what that means, Tarot Day. Now I didn't do tarot last week because my voice went on vacation without me. You gotta love it when they do that, hey! So my voice has now returned, I am being careful not to talk as much as I should be. <laughs> Try telling that to me because I talk under wet cement. Um, anyway... We're getting into tarot for today. Okay, so as usual, my lovely lady is on deck. I've just done my singing bowl and I've already connected with my cards. So let's just see which one that she wants me to go with today. She's saying the big ones. So the big ones would be the lovely Louise Benton's Anna Had a Creation design. If you do want a copy or um, to buy a box of her cards, the link is below in the description. Okay. So here's the deck that I've got. This is actually just a shortened deck because she's making more cards. She actually sent these to me like a promo deck. So I love that I've got some so I can use them and incorporate them in my other cards as well. Okay, just connecting with the cards to get the card that I need. Okay, so today's movie. I've got a movie I'm going to talk about while I get my cards today. And the card that I, I'm sorry, the movie that I want to discuss is Sweet Home Alabama, where the sky's always blue. <laughs> it stars Reese Witherspoon, and it starts out that she's living in New York, and she's a fashion designer, and she calls herself Carmichael. So she gets engaged to the mayor's son. Oh my gosh! And obviously. She's got to sort out her past. Huh. So she has to return back to Alabama where she grew up. And she has to divorce her first husband. Huh. So not only did what I see it as a spiritual concept here. It's when we move forward in our lives. We have to resolve, heal and forgive our past before we move forward so that's why when you get divorced from someone there's usually a year of separation because that's the time to physically heal all the issues all the grudges all those nitpicky things that we go through when we're in a relationship with someone so then we don't carry all that on to the next relationship now my neighbour, oh, I just got a card. There it is, I've got the card. It just flew at me if you saw that one. So now I'm just going to put the other cards away. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to get told the next one's down. Okay, the next one down will be my tarot card. Okay, let's get one of these now for today that I've got my red one. Okay, let's keep them in order on my desk here. Okay, now I had a neighbour across the road a few years ago. At 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning, her boyfriend that was living there moved out. The taxi came and filled up all his stuff in the car at 11 a.m. Guess what happened at 4 o'clock the same day? Car pulled up. Her new boyfriend was moving in. you got to be joking me, right? Who does that? Because I'll tell you who does that. Somebody who does not deal with their emotional... Oh, now I've just got heaps of cards thrown at me here. So I just dropped a few, so bear with me here, guys. Throw them back into the deck. Okay, so I'll tell you who does that. A sort of person who has not dealt with their emotional um, crap stuff from the past. Oh, now I just got one flown. Did you see that just pop out? Okay, so I'll bend down and get him. Okay, so here's my tarot card. Here's my deck. I'm going to put them over there with the rest of them. Okay, now she's saying keep going with all of them. Okay, I'll just keep going. Okay, so here is now my little lovey-dovey cards. And I love these ones. So let's just get back to Ella, sweet, uh, sweet Home Alabama. Reese with a spoon. She has to go back and, can, and um, deal with all her past. Now that is a big message for today. And believe me, these movies that I watch, they just get thrown at me. It's not like I just go through the list of DVDs in my cupboard and go, eh, 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 nah, 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 that one. Okay, so these are videos that either come up as like a pop-up or 
my daughter says hey mum do you want to watch this movie so it's not in my control okay so sweet home alabama she has to deal with all her past now another thing that i want to say here about when we deal with our past one is to forgive we've got to forgive our past and then what we have to do is acknowledge it and say yes i oh did you see that one just flicked out okay i've got my cards so i'm going to put these over here pick up the one okay pick up the one that just dropped okay all right so now we go into the um ruined stones i'll just grab my ruined stone out as well while i'm here <sighs> thank you so much so when we when we acknowledge what we've been through in our past it may not be good stuff guys okay but when we acknowledge it and we say you know what i did that thing i did that thing and i'm not proud that i did that thing i'm going to try and be a better person so i don't do that thing again or it could be the opposite of that remember that time i did that thing oh man i want to do that thing again i'm going to do that thing again <clears throat> so this is where we process and we analyze our past what serves us for our best good or our higher good and what are things that we no longer need so we can get rid of acknowledge accept and release them okay this is how we forgive it i acknowledge i did that bad thing i acknowledge it i full i take full accountability i'm responsible for my actions at that time so i acknowledge it then i accept it i say well at that time i could only do what i had to do i didn't have any other options now i'm an adult i have other options now i'm older i can do that instead and then you say thank you so much for allowing me to see that i don't want to be that person anymore and then on the flip side just say it was a brilliant thing that you've done but you say to yourself okay i did that really cool thing i acknowledge it i take full responsibility that oh, i was the girl who did that then you say okay do i want that in my future oh hell yes yes bring it on and then you can say okay now i'm willing to accept that i want that again so let's create that in the future as well okay so that's what um um reese witherspoon had to do in sweet home alabama and she realized that she actually wanted all the things that she gave up okay sometimes in life we want to go to the other side of the fence to see how the grass is growing over there right but we go over there and we analyze and we spend the time and realize is that as good as where i've come from is my life really as bad as i'm saying now i just got my tar um, my little ruin stone too okay so sweet home alabama highly recommend it to anyone who wants to go and watch it reese witherspoon is the actress i love her she's so cute and um legally blonde i love her in that too yeah she has this ditziness about her i really love it okay so sweet home alabama if you've watched it and you know what i mean and you want to comment your own thoughts about how she had to grow so we return to our past we remember who we were what were our dreams what were our goals when we were young you know i say it to a lot of people i say go back to who you were when you were 16. what were your dreams what were your goals i always wanted to be a rock and roll star and then guess what happened in the late 80s um 90s mid 90s i was on stage with bon jovi i was physically on stage in front of 50,000 people my god i got that reality because i manifested it when i was a kid so this is what we've got to start doing manifesting all those passions that we had when we were a kid what was it you wanted to be did you want to go bungee jumping parachuting that type did you want to go exploring the outback and seeing native animals that no one else discovered yet did you want to go down into the caves and see all the um glow worms in the water do you want to go to outer space and be an astronaut do whatever it is that you wanted to be start remembering that guys because this is what she did in that movie sweet home alabama she went back to her roots and discovered that all the things that she really wanted to do she wasn't aware of them 
So it's when we're aware of who we truly want to be and we say, you know what, I'm really passionate about this. I'm going to strive to be that person now. Okay? <clears throat> so let's get into today's tarot. First one I got was the lovely artwork by Louise Benton. It's called Soul. Solar being, divine emanation, inspiring mystic contemplation. And that's what I'm talking about right now. Discovering and inspiring ourselves to be our best, right? Radiant star shining bright blesses us with golden light. Earthly beings reach to the sky to embrace the light that comes from high. Source of our illumination, crown apart in earth's creation. Master the seasons, oh sorry, master of the seasons turn. Gentle warmth, zenith burn. Tracking cycles, the march of time. The brilliance of your light doth shine. My gosh, I've just spoken about that. The, the brilliance of you is how much you shine. How do we make ourselves shine? We do things that we love because it emits out of us and then it's attached to other people and that's how we're spreading this joy and happiness and peace around the planet. So go out there and be what it is that you want to be. This is the perfect time to go and do it, guys, okay? Last line is, I open myself to the divine light of the sun. Now, this also incorporates trusting the universe trust the universe to bring in what it is that you want okay so there's our first card what a great time what a great day to start tarot okay let's now go over to my card i got the page of cups oh page of cups okay so let me find him in my book so i can read you what he says Oh, okay, we've got to go past the major arcana. Okay, page, page of cups. Okay, okay. I've only got one line. <laughs> I got happy news of an emotional nature. Can be news about love, engagement, marriage or birth. So this is the page. This is the bearer of good news. Okay, so that's what's happening this week for so many people. If you've been applying for jobs after jobs and you can't find work, this is the week you'll get an offer. If you've been out there and you've been saying, you know what, I'm really trying to grow my yard. It's not growing. It's dying. This is the year. This is the time you'll see those sprouts coming out. Good news is coming to all of us who are on the right side of the universal energies. Okay, let's go to my little lovey dovey card. I love these guys with the little doves on them. Aren't they cute? Okay, love trusts that all will work out for the best in the end. My God, how good is that? <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going. Love trusts that all will work out for the best in the end you know what this means it means that we're harvesting we're sowed we've already sowed the seeds we're watching the sprouts growing up and now ta-da good news is coming they work so well together and this is saying what we put our love into is going to shine for us okay my gosh, I've still got my ruined stone, so let's go and have a look at this guy. Okay, let me find him in my ruin guide. He's a really weird, oh, he's a freaky one. He looks like an F. Okay, I've got him. He's the first one. All right, let me just hold him up with the book so you know I've got the right one. Okay, so here he is, and it's this one here, and it's called Fehu. It's the cattle. Oh, my God. I've had this one before and I love, love, love it. Okay, remember back in old times when money didn't exist and you do something for someone and they give you a cow <laughs> or you get married and you give a cow <laughs> as the present, right? This is that card, the ruin, okay? All right, an ancient primary source of wealth and status. 
the symbol of earned income or success, something worked for to generate a return. Now, we're all generating it through what we're passionate about, where the bearer of good news is coming to us and love trusts that all will work out for the best in the end. Boom, mom, what a week. Okay, let me read the three dot points associated to the cattle card. Okay, prosperity, good fortune. Success in financial or relationship matters due to hard work and actions. Now, isn't this the hard work? Wasn't I telling you about in that movie? Oh, my God, let even the movie goes back to this. Okay, she left New York. She tried to build a new life for herself, but then she went home to sort out all her stuff and she had to work on what it was that she really wanted to do to find out what she was passionate about. Oh my gosh. Signal not to give up on your current goals. Okay? Trust that the universe, everything is going to work out. Okay? Put your hands into their hands and just say, you know what? I've done my best. It's your turn now. Come down and make this all work out for me. Okay? If surrounded by negative ruins, which it's not, okay, hold tight for now. And Okay, so it's not saying that, so I'm not even going to read that out. So today's tarot cards, dark guys, it's all about reaping what we've sowed. Remember, <laughs> karma, it's a B-I-T-C-H, <coughs> okay? If you've been a good person sowing all the right seeds, your blooms are about to flower. But if you've been out there being a negative type, you're about to get that coming back. And I will go there with something with karma. Generally, it's tenfold. I hope and pray that you're all good people. It's like Santa Claus. Have you been good or bad, naughty or nice list? Okay. I don't want to make it a negative reading today because these cards are great. It's great news. And if you're watching this, that means that you're trying your best in a world gone mad to succeed in this life. Okay. So. The one that I'm going to leave you with all today is the page card. Page of Cups. One final little message about him. He's a bearer of good news. Now, what is a, what does the good thing about the cup? It represents and it holds the wealth of what we've done in our lives. And this is the guy who says, we acknowledge all that good stuff that you've been putting into your cup. This is the time that you're going to start seeing those benefits. So trust it, guys. Have a chat with the universe and just say to them something like, you know what, I'm doing my best. Please bring down those brownie points and let me start seeing that my rewards are truly coming to me. Hope you all have a great week, guys, because these cards today are amazing. Go and be that Reese Witherspoon character in our Sweet Home Alabama. Sit quietly. Reflect on who you were years ago. Get rid of all the crud that was there and work out what it was that you loved about that time and start putting that into motion because these cards say today, mother load of a payload is coming see us all next week bye